Okay, I'm working on mounting the, uh, you know, toolbox or the hydraulic unit here. It kind of sucks because I don't really like this box in the first place and then I'm using it. But uh, here's the, I think it's a KTI hydraulic unit. I'll put a link if I know how. And uh, I think what I'm going to do is mark where I want it. I've already laid it in there. Kind of see a few marks there. And uh, basically mark on the sheet, drill a hole in the sheet metal where I want it, weld everything together, and then uh, drill through the steel on the bottom so it's a good fasten. Um, I'm planning on going through the side. I debated going through the back. I think I'm going to go through the side. We'll see how it goes. That's an update. All right, I went to mount this hydraulic pump and reservoir. I read the directions and they're at three and a half inch centers. So I drilled through this thick half inch plate steel, two holes, got it all set up. As you can see here, not one diorama, but two saying it's at three and a half. And I feel like an idiot for not checking it, but sure enough, if we uh, measure off the one here, Watch me struggle with this tape measure for a second. All right, there's off the one. You can see they're not at three and a half inches. They're at three and a quarter. So feel free to update your diagram. All right, I got uh, the box back off and you know, I got all the mounts figured out. Now I just got to drill the holes for the, uh, the hydraulic lines. So I'm just going to use a, a little bit probably in the corners and cut out the uh, sheet metal with probably a sawzall or something and uh, figure out a way to put a nice edge on it. All right, here you can see the holes that I got drilled. Uh, a lot, I'm gonna use the uh, four inch grinder with a cutoff wheel to finish this up. Good thing I drilled the round holes. Made it look way better than just cutting a square hole. You suck. Okay, so there you can see, I just took a piece of, uh, this is just vacuum hose that I had laying around. I didn't even cut it to length. I just put a slit around it and it worked out good. It's, it's almost exactly the right size, but uh, this is really pissing me off. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Well, if you're smart enough to figure it out, there's a little foreshadowing going on here. Uh, you can see how I ran my two large hydraulic lines, ran them all the way to the back. Um, that was the only hose that I could get. So they're half inch lines. Um, it's farming time and everybody's trying to get everything. I put a T in the line, went out to both sides evenly, and I did that for the feed and the return. All right, there it is. Finally got it all plumbed. Um, I know I'm not supposed to use galvanized fittings. At least I've been told that, uh, but that's what they had. And I think I think those are 3A straight O-ring boss fittings. I don't know, hydraulic fittings drive me crazy. They're never fun. Um, Everything's nestled in there. It's just enough room for the battery and the, the pump with this Harbor Freight toolbox. Hopefully it works out. I'm gonna get some hydraulic fluid in it. All right, I'm back at her here. Gonna hook everything up, all the electrical stuff. Got all the hydraulic lines ran. Um, little truth be told, since no one will know, it could be our secret. I already hooked jumper cables to this around a little bit, so it works. Um, anyways, I went to the store and I was gonna buy a uh, large cable and solder on ends, but when I went, it was cheaper just to buy battery cables with ends already on there. In fact, it's like literally almost, um, it's almost more just to buy ends than it was to buy the whole things together for whatever reason, so. Um, I'll put those on. Okay, I got it all hooked up. I got the negative on the uh, motor, the positive on their solenoid here, ran back to the battery. I think I put them on the right side. Yep, batteries looks right. One thing uh, they were really good about giving you cable sizing. Your four gauge is up to 24 inches, but this is a 25 inch cable, uh, should be fine. I uh, just got to hook up the controller. Um, I don't know if I pointed it out, but this, I think it's this bottom port here, uh, which would be this one, 
is hooked to the top of the cylinder. So here you can see how the top port looks to the primary side and the bottom port to that side. Okay, moment of truth. I got the electrical uh, controller here hooked up. Um, I got a light on the tank. Uh, the directions specifically say in numerous spots to not let the tank go below half. So um, I have a lot of air in the system. So we'll see what it does. Oh, we're starting to lift already. Like, look. That's insane. This is just fucking cool. Up. Down. Okay, so I did go up and down a few times, not very far. Uh, <laughs> there's too much garbage on the trailer right now. Um, but one thing I was gonna say is I couldn't really decide which hydraulic fluid to get. And I ended up buying a full five gallons, and I'm glad I did because it took almost the whole five gallons. But, man, there's nothing better than pressing a button and seeing something work. <laughs> Thanks for watching.